Good morning from close to Portland. <laughs> um, right now I'm gonna go over to Lowe's or Home Depot, I haven't decided. I'm gonna pick up some uh, black chalkboard paint because I figured, you know, I was thinking about doing black and then it just made sense when I was like, oh wait, a chalkboard, a school bus. It all makes sense. So I'm just gonna head over there and uh, grab some things, uh, a mask, uh, some, uh, I don't know, some acetone or something like that, some gloves, um, paint obviously, some brushes or rollers, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna paint today, I guess, to try and spruce it up. Uh, I also need to get some uh, curtains. Hopefully I can do it before I leave because I've been waking up way too early. And Lowe's it is. You guys have a preference? Home Depot or Lowe's? I think mine's Lowe's. There's a better customer, better uh, employee to customer ratio. All right guys, this is what I got so far. I got some rags, a drop cloth, a couple um, of these things, shed resistant. I think that means there's gonna be less stuff flying when I roll it, so that's good. Um, some uh, tape, four cans of chalkboard, some sort of cleaner for the walls. Haven't used that before, but I guess it's pretty gnarly stuff. So I got some gloves to handle it with. And um, yeah, I got a couple brushes and we should be on our way to having a chalkboard on the ceiling. All right, I'm back to the pad. Um, I got some hot water right here. I'm gonna put in some of this stuff called tri-sodium phosphate. This stuff. Apparently, it's good to clean. The ceilings also got some goo gone for the stickers and stuff. So I guess you put this into the hot water, scrub it up dub, and then it'll be nice and ready for this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. We got Jackson just hanging out. What up? <laughs> so, uh, dude, are you gonna join me to LA? Oh shit. Oh, can I say shit? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, that would be dope, I'll see. Uh, yeah? I'll find out tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Cool. You know. uh, we might have Jackson joining me for the Jackson Jackson. That'll be a tongue twister. Um, <laughs> so we might have have him joining me for a few days. Um, got some other goodies here. Some paint, uh, tape, goo on, and these rollers. I got these rollers that um, don't that don't have. They're like, I don't know, shed resistant, so they don't have paint flying off of there. So that's good, because I don't want chalkboard all over this beautiful wood in here. So let's get to work. So we got uh, a couple of stickers off of there. We got that yellow sticker off the front. The rules are riding the bus. So don't forget Tsunami, the rules of the bus, and the bus driver, the bus driver. Uh, got that sticker off with the PSI. Some other stuff, got a couple here. Jackson got that one, thanks dude. Yup. Uh, he also got the exit door sign off of the rear. Uh, I'm not such a big fan of this TSP, trisodium phosphate stuff, didn't really work so well. And also not really a big fan of uh, Gugan. I think I should have gone with my instincts and got acetone. So, there's that. I'm gonna eat a little sandwich and maybe take a nap. So. So I'm trying to nap right now and there's a hailstorm going on, which is kind of cool. Um, haven't had one of those in a while. Alright guys, what do you think? Uh, this is coat number two up here uh, for the uh, chalkboard paint. I still have uh, the edges and some, uh, some stuff over here. I'm going to put some curtains up. <coughs> um, I watched a movie called War Dogs with Jonah Hill. If you guys haven't seen it, it is phenomenal. I think it's based on a true story. Um, anyways, so that first, you know, first coat with this stuff, I gotta admit I was a little concerned, but it doesn't look bad. It just needs some more coats and it definitely needs to dry. Um, I think this might actually look kind of cool in here, especially uh, once the uh, the lights go up um, above the windows and back here. 
Um, and also above these windows here with some curtains. I think it's gonna look pretty slick, especially with like the wood and the black. I haven't really seen too many people do black inside of a bus, perhaps for a good reason. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I kind of like it. And uh, it'll be kind of fun to be able to draw on the ceilings <laughs> with some chalk. So, uh, and also it, it's gonna hide really well. This stuff, you know, like the charge control stuff, the remote control, the speakers, that's all gonna be hidden. Um, the air conditioning is kind of hidden right now, but the cover is gonna be like a light gray, so I could always paint that, I suppose, if I need to, but yeah, it's gonna look real sleek inside here. And somebody was like, oh, I don't know about black, you want light you know, on, the, on the ceiling to make it bigger. Well, guess what? People have black leather interior with black fabric on top of their car. Nobody seems to complain about that. Um, so, while I understand in theory the whole light makes it bigger, etc. I mean, love it or hate it, it's still a school bus and it's still pretty small <laughs> uh, compared to an apartment. So, um, I'm not into optical illusions or stuff like that. What I do want is I want the wood to kind of pop well. And I wasn't really a fan of white. White just like, I feel like it gets too dirty and I feel like it's been done. Wanna be a little bit different. Plus, chalkboard, school bus. It kinda has like that kind of thing going on. Um, so anyways, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go sleep on the couch tonight because all the fumes in here. Um, I was wearing a little mask earlier, right there. Um, and that's it, so another good day. I think I'm gonna be out of here in the next couple of days. Head on down to California. So I uh, got some exciting potential meetups down there, which I'm really looking forward to. So, uh, see you guys manana. Yeah, yeah.